Hello and uh, welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial for Blackboard Ultra into how to create a learning module or a folder. Okay, so the difference between learning modules and folders is fairly simple, right? It's a, a learning module is essentially a folder, right? It's just that it's called the learning module and it works a little bit differently in Ultra. Okay, so I know most people are used to using folders in the original Blackboard or Blackboard Learn. Uh, but in Ultra, it seems to be a little bit better across platforms when you use a module. So this is the example of a module here. This is a sample of a folder. So notice that it does, doesn't have the little icon for the folder. If you click on it, it'll open up and pretty much what you're going to see is anything I put in there. Hence, it is technically a folder, right? Uh, you will be able to see it in there. You can create things in there in the module. If you close it, right it'll close back up same as a folder I have a sample of a folder here that has some items in there so we do recommend to use uh, learning modules instead of folders right like I said it's a little bit better in terms of working a little bit more seamlessly across platforms so if you want to create more modules right all you do is same thing as folders click on the plus sign click on create and then over here, you're going to see the first one is actually learning module again, because that is the one that's recommended. So they put it in first place. So if you click on it, it's going to open up a module. You can name it, right? It's going to, it's going to be over here already learning module. You can edit the name of it. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to put it here just module or five, right? Or week five. Hit enter, uh, it does automatic come out with uh, hidden from students. So all you do is click here, click visible to students and it'll be visible to students. Notice that this is empty, right? But it's a module that you have created. Click on the plus sign here and you can add content to it, right? You can click create in terms of what you create inside, but you have here some items here as well. Okay, so you can create a document where you can place information, right? For your week, right? Your assignments. Uh, you can name this uh, overview, right? Usually, that's the first one we have there. And then you can add some content either by text or by HTML. And of course, you have a couple of other links there, right? You can upload a file. Uh, but this is essentially the way that you work with learning modules or folders. So you see that it is almost the same thing, right? they're just called different things. Okay. Thank you.